What's good everybody and welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you guys how to draw a pose from reference. Throughout the video I'll be taking you through my process on how to draw any pose or body movement from reference from scratch. Here's the reference image I'll be using for today's video and I will be marking this up on my iPad and I'll put the footage up as soon as we get started. And if you want to try this out for yourself, this image is free to download on my website which is in the description down below. So now that we're done talking, let's draw. Let's consider the direction the head is facing, which is to the right. There's not much of the neck showing, but I'm going to mark it up to help show the tilt of the head. And the face is going to be looking at the bottom right, so it's going to be at a tilt. What I'm doing now is drawing a line of action. It's like an easy to draw guideline that indicates the initial movement of the body. Now we're going to indicate the movement of the hips and shoulders. It's like the top and bottom of the torso and they can be tilted just like the head. So I'm going to make two dots for the two shoulders and then connect them together to find out if the shoulders really have a tilt. And then the same thing with the hips. And now we know the hips and shoulders have a tilt. Now let's draw in the direction of the legs and the arms. And I'm going to draw a circle to mark the joints. That includes the shoulders, elbows, and the wrists. Both of these arms are going to be at a distance, so it's not going to be the exact same length as each other. Because of that, I'm going to write perspective on both arms. Arms. Now onto the legs. We're going to mark the direction of the legs with a single line, then make a dot to show the joints of the legs which include the hips, knees, and ankles. The legs start where the hips are and that's indicate where the red dots are, but then we got the knees and the ankles. Now we can mark the initial shapes of the hand. When I draw hands, I usually start with a quadrilateral, a shape with four sides. But for one of these hand movements, it looks kind of like a triangle. So when I go to draw it, it might be a bit tricky, but we'll have the reference image with us in case we need to go back. Then we got the shape of the feet, which look like triangles. So now it looks like we've taken all the notes that we could take from this reference image. Of course, you can make these notes on another sheet of paper or make mental notes. You can do it, however, but I gave you guys a visual. But now we're ready to start drawing this pose. And I'll have my iPad here with this reference handy, and I'm gonna just prop it up over here, but I'll also throw it up on the screen somewhere. All right, now let's begin. Okay, so starting off with the head, I'm gonna make it a circle. And remembering that the head is at, at a slight tilt. So we're not going to necessarily add a tilt to the circle because that really won't do anything. So we're going to add a tilt to the center line. So usually the center line would be like propped up against like so. So we're going to add a tilt to that position exactly. So I'm going to have it about here. Okay, and then the other center line will just intersect it like so. And now that we know this head is facing this direction, just like our reference. So now we can begin to draw the rest of the face because we already have our guidelines in place. And now we can place the neck, which is, you know, like a no-brainer. There's more of the neck being shown on the left-hand side, which really helps show the tilt of the head. And pretty much no um, part of the neck will be seen here, but I'm just going to draw a small part of the neck about right here. Okay, and then from the neck, I'm going to start making the center line for the body. So I'm going to draw that in. I'm going to have this line being for the shoulders and then let's say right about here would be for the hips and then I'm going to make a halfway point for the waist. Well, this, is, this is the way I like to start when I'm drawing female bodies. So this is the way I like to draw the waist 
and then we're gonna make the hips go out like so and then from here and from here I can begin to draw the arms so the way we have them in place remember that they're going in a distance so they're gonna be in perspective just a little bit so um, each length of the arm will not be the same since it's going at a distance So that will be the hand. And that will also be a hand. Okay, and now we're down by the hips. And I'm going to make two, like, points here. I'm going to make one leg that's kind of stiff. And the other won't be. Now we can begin to draw the legs. So from this point to wherever we stop that when we're drawing the uh, the lines for the legs, the guidelines for the legs, the halfway point would be the knee. So I'd say right about here, and also right about here. So let's begin to draw the legs. construct this part as well so this part of the leg it's kind of off just a little bit but that part we can fix because in our reference it's a bit off from the leg just a little bit so we can make the leg comes towards this direction because if we have it over here then it's going to seem a little bit off so we don't necessarily have to follow this exact position of this line we can actually have the other leg just coming right before that line like say right about in this space or if it helps you can draw another line just like it wherever you're going to position the leg And see, I kind of shifted it up a little bit, but that comes with the course of drawing from reference. You may have to fix a few things because you can't always rely on guidelines. Okay, now we can begin to draw the arms. They're going to make a curve off the neck, come back up, and make the shoulder. Just coming up just a little tiny bit. Not a huge amount, but you know. And then I'm going to make this into a cylinder. So that's one part of the arm. Then the other. You can follow this line towards the wrist and progressively get smaller. And then we did the same thing on this side. So yeah, I'm just uh, kind of disregarding the guidelines because I kind of misplaced them. But this just goes to show you that you can't always rely heavily 
on guidelines. Okay, and I know in my reference that she's wearing heels. My character's wearing heels. But I'm going to change that for now. But you can add whatever you want for whatever uh, footwear she's wearing. And that goes for any article of clothing that your character might be wearing. Because this video is mainly on how to draw the pose specifically from reference. So, and I did make the leg a little bit skinnier. And I did add a little bit of foot action going on. But I'm not going to waste time drawing the feet, so for now she's wearing socks. So this reference pose is looking pretty good right about now. Again, you can add whatever article of clothing that you want, change up any facial features or whatever, do anything with the hair, footwear, any other accessories or whatever. But this video is focusing specifically on the pose. So I'm going to finish this up with some pen and ink and then come back to you guys. So here's the finished drawing, and I would say the pose is, you know, pretty much close to our initial reference image. Let me bring up the original image one more time. But the process we gotta go through to get these kind of results is pretty complicated, but it gets us a majority of the way there. But creating guidelines in your reference image will definitely help you out. So you know how to place everything, where everything goes, how each body part bends. And as you saw me do it in the beginning, I took my reference image and I marked it up. And by doing that, I created some guidelines for myself that I can use as reference. And in a way, you're writing down some notes on what each body part is doing, how the head is tilting, what direction it's facing, what the arms are doing, is it at a distance, what the legs are doing, are they at a distance, and what is the initial movement of the body. And also in the process, you, we created guidelines for ourselves, which we then replicated on a sheet of paper and began to draw that same pose. The guidelines that we drew on the paper, it got us a majority of the way there, but again, you can't really rely heavily on guidelines because sometimes you gotta break away from guidelines to follow the principles of anatomy to create body poses and gestures just like this. But if you are still struggling at drawing poses in general, try this out and see if that works. Because think about it like this, you're jotting down guidelines twice and it's like drawing a stick figure twice. And I'd say if you can do that and if you know the principles of anatomy, you can draw stuff like this. So also take that into consideration. But if you did find this video useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.